And now, your first alert five weather. Summer in the city after that nice taste of fall yesterday. It heated up quickly today. We're still at 85 degrees. Southeast breeze right now at eight miles per hour. Live in Pueblo, looking out toward the Belmont area. 92 is your current temperature. A little breezy out of the east, 10 miles per hour across many neighborhoods. Tracking a thunderstorm south of Kachara. This thing's right around Monument Park. Los Animas County has some pretty good rain with that thing moving off to the southeast at about 10 miles per hour. The Steering winds aloft are really weak today, so those areas under that shower activity getting a real nice soak. But that is it. Rest of the news five viewing areas dry and will stay dry for the rest of the night tonight. Temperatures tomorrow will be a pattern of uh, heat. We're going to see this high pressure area feed that surface trough out to the east of us. That's a downslope flow. So your highs tomorrow another four to seven degrees hotter than what we had around here today. And thankfully, a few clouds will build in tomorrow afternoon, cutting off some of that abrasive August sunshine. But look at this 10 o'clock tomorrow morning already into the 80s over much of the area going to see those clouds redevelop during the afternoon and a few showers weak thunderstorms developing over the higher elevations those are monsoon fed shower and thunderstorm activity uh, if we get anything around here it'll dry out before it reaches the surface maybe a couple of sprinkles if we're lucky but it's going to be real dry in the lower layers of the atmosphere so more wind and water with tomorrow's activity here's my big weather story here's what i'm watching for you that heat ridge going to build slowly off to the south and east by friday and saturday Saturday. That'll bring some of that subtropical moisture a little closer to the I-25 corridor. Unfortunately, I think most of it is going to be just west of I-25, so Teller County standing a little better chance of seeing some moisture by Friday into Saturday. Here's your long-range temperature outlook taking you through the 25th of August. That monsoon will be active to our southwest. They'll enjoy unseasonably cool temperatures, but around here, what you see is what you get. It's going to stay unseasonably hot here across the News 5 viewing area for at least the next 10 consecutive days. Today, 93 in Pueblo after a nice cool morning low of 56. In the springs, it was crisp and cool this morning. Fall-like, but with that sunshine and the dry air, we wrapped it up with 88 degrees this afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear skies, calm winds overnight. Temperatures not quite as cool as last night, but still a very comfortable night all across the News 5 viewing area. Hot stuff coming through tomorrow. Afternoon high temperatures, 90s and triple digits here across eastern Colorado. In Colorado Springs, I'll give it about a 30% chance of landing an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Just a couple neighborhoods lucky enough to see a little shower activity. More wind coming out of that stuff than rainfall reaching the ground. A little cooler on Thursday as a weak boundary pushes across the area. Then it's right back into those red hot 90s. Maybe a stray thunderstorm Saturday afternoon. Nothing that would wipe out any plans at best. Maybe one of those five 10 minute thunder showers and that is it. Pueblo, I know the question you're asking by looking at that forecast. Where's the rain? I mean, it's the heart of monsoon season. And sadly, that subtropical moisture will be west over the mountains, so you'll just be hot and dry. Not a taste, not a sample, not a sip of rain in that steel city for at least the next seven days. Canyon City, an isolated PM shower possible tomorrow, but no appreciable moisture. Monsoon thunderstorm could pop on Saturday. Otherwise, you're going to be hot and mainly dry for at least the next seven days. Woodland Park, you're going to be a little closer to that subtropical moisture feed, so a better chance of some uh, that precious commodity rainfall possible Friday into Saturday. Get it while the getting's good because hot and dry Sunday, Monday into next Tuesday. There's a crash on I-25 southbound. The uh, northbound lane is blocked at this point. We'll keep you updated on that. Rob? Mike, thanks. Is living